I just realized I haven't showed anybody what my dorm looks like and I'm starting to pack up some stuff. So I figured this is the last time you can see it and it's like full form versus it being all empty. So we're gonna start off by the door. Obviously right here is the door when you walk in. And then this is a Dundee double. So if anybody's looking um, for rooms, like this is what the Dundee double room looks like. Um, so this is my roommate side. It is empty, so I figured I would show you the side first. So each side comes with one um, armoire type thing where you can fit clothes and then some stuff at the bottom. And then we have two more drawers, so six drawers total, four over here, and then the two back there. And then this is what the bed looks like. Ignore my stuff back there. Pretty standard. And then back here, we have the desk. So everybody gets a desk and a chair, and then I have my stuff over it. And then you share the fridge and the microwave. So we tried, when my roommate was here, I tried to make it as even as possible, and then my stuff was on this side. So I highly recommend that. So that's pretty standard, I mean. Um, and then what I got were these containers from Costco just to hold stuff in. Um, like I have oatmeal and some other instant stuff in here along with the ramen. And then if you open the fridge, uh, this is what the fridge looks like. It's pretty big. This shelf, though, is supposed to be in here. I just took it out because nothing would fit with the shelf in. I have some random yogurt, other knickknacks, and then you can obviously put a couple of drinks and stuff back there. And then when you open the freezer, yeah, my, my freezer is pretty full, but it's a very tiny freezer, so you can't hold that much stuff. Especially with like two people, I would say you can maybe put like one or two things of ice cream, that's it, it's really tiny. And then over here, we have a cart, additional cart that I got myself. I highly recommend bringing an additional cart just because the, the shelf space in Dundee is really small compared to the other dorms. So over here, I have my Keurig. It's a very awesome, Handy dandy invention, great to get hot water. Highly recommend it if you're a coffee person like me because it's just way easier to uh, get Keurig um, coffee. It saves you some money too. I got a Brita. The Brita's up to you. Um, Dundee has water fountains on every floor. So each floor has one. So it's not really necessary, but I still liked it because it, it held a bunch of water in one container so you didn't have to go back and forth as much. Um, what else? All of this is my coffee stuff and I'm starting to move out so that's why it's all over the place. So, but I highly recommend bringing a mug. So I have two, actually I have three mugs and then I have like a, a brush and stuff to clean it and then some dish soap. Highly recommend that of course to clean it. And then I have some tea some vitamins, and some K-cups. Pretty standard over there. I also recommend bringing Ziploc bags because you never know when you'll need them. I didn't even end up using all of mine, but it was just good to have because sometimes you need to take something to go in a larger package. That's what I did. And then down here, I have a bunch of snacks. So I believe in here is mainly instant mac and cheese, some emergencies, cereal, um, more granola bars uh, and other random knickknacks. And then at the bottom, it's the same thing. Just a little bit more snacks. And I have more ramen noodles back here, some cookies, wipes, tea. And then at the very bottom, I have some soup, a filter, some paper towels. I always recommend bringing a lot of paper towels because it gets very dirty here. Now over towards my desk area. So for my desk area, we have a mirror, some sunscreen. I highly recommend the mirror. It's awesome because we don't have any other way of, uh, any other mirror unless you go to the bathroom, which is kind of a walk. So that's why I like having that here. Pretty standard stuff. I highly recommend one of these sort of like shelf holders where you can hold a lot of stuff in a, in a small organizer because it keeps everything super neat, easy to find. I have an Amazon thing. I can't say the actual name, otherwise she'll start talking. This was super helpful. I recommend getting it on sale, like during Black Friday and stuff, because I really liked it. Because it'll, there's an alarm on it, so it'll like wake me up with the alarm, and it can do like night routines and play music, and that's why I really liked it. The desk is pretty simple. One thing I didn't like is it doesn't have enough storage. So I, as you can tell, I have papers right there, stuff all over the place. The desk in Penland and AI, any of the older dorm communities, they have a bunch of like drawers right here. Um, and so it'll you'll be able to hold a lot more stuff. So just um, if anybody was curious about a con that I didn't like about Dundee, it's like lack of um, space. So as you can tell, I have my own little cabinet thing that I um, brought for space reasons and it helped, but you know, still it's, it'd be nice if um, Dundee had some sort of something to put over here. Um, yeah, you gotta get a little bit creative with the space here. Moving on to the closet, this is just my decoration. Another thing I found out is that literally nothing sticks to the wall because it's like popcorn, like it's like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like textured wall, so nothing sticks onto the wall. I tried so many things and only command hooks do, so. So if you guys know of any other way that something sticks to the wall, feel free to try it out. But it was getting impossible to have anything with blue tape stick. It just doesn't work. So I used one of the closet doors and I made like a little collage from travel photos as my decoration. 
pretty simple. You've probably seen this in the background of my YouTube videos. And then the closet's pretty big. I can open this one just to show you guys. Pretty large, holds a bunch of clothes. Um, half the clothes that are in here are not going to be in here because I am obviously moving out. So I have to start to, you know, um, get rid of some things. I highly recommend uh, some sort of caddy, um, like, to hold your stuff in. It was super helpful because um, they have hooks in the bathroom and you can just hook it up versus, like, taking everything one by one. This is probably this and my robe right here are the two best things I've gotten for college. They're the two things I would recommend to anybody because it was just super helpful, super easy to, to take it in and out. Down here, we have a couple of drawers. Let me see if I can pull this one open. They're pretty standard. I got some shorts back here. Nothing too crazy. And then down here, I think it's just some towels. Yeah, so just some towels and like swim stuff. And I just kept my shoes down there because I couldn't find any other room for it. And then I also got this cart from Target. This cart was super helpful because it was like a nightstand essentially because we don't have any sort of nightstand. So to charge your phone, you have to go back and forth so much and it was pretty annoying. So I really like this cart as a temporary nightstand and I had wheels. So I could be sitting in this chair and then having this cart here for some reason and then I'd put like the mirror and stuff to get ready and it was super helpful. In terms of my bed, I do have a mattress topper. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm holding it right here. This is the mattress topper. Highly recommend the mattress topper just because these beds are super uncomfortable without one. In terms of sheets, I think my bedding was from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think we got it on sale. I honestly don't remember. But something I do recommend is your pillows. Make sure you have good quality pillows because you'll be sleeping a lot in college. And also you use your bed just to lounge in because there's like no other place to sit besides your desk. But let's be honest, we all do our homework in our bed. So something that's really comfortable is what's super important. Now down here to the drawers, I have one drawer that's kind of like my dishes area. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty unkept, but I do recommend getting paper plates and paper products more than um, like glass ones because it's just so annoying to clean them that I would just toss them out. It's a lot easier to get paper, you know, and then like disposable stuff is much better to use than the um, glass um, china type thing. Here, I believe it's just more health products. We got some mouthwash, a bunch of masks, of course, because of the pandemic. Um, and then some tea, deodorant, yeah, nothing special. If we go over here, down here is also a continuation of that. Um, some N95 masks, some Swiffer stuff, because I couldn't find anywhere else to put it. Um, these are blue books and other random trinkets and um, scantrons. And then down here we have just standard medical stuff, toilet paper, um, some cleaning wipes, Dayquil, NyQuil, Claritin, Allegra, that sort of thing, um, and some masks, so pretty standard stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The room isn't anything too crazy. I just want to give you guys some general like sense of what the room looks like. Now, I'll see if there's anybody in the lounge or study room, and I can show you really quickly what those look like, as well as the hallway. Okay, so this is what the hallway looks like. It's a pretty standard hallway, nothing too crazy. And then this is what the study room looks like. There's nobody in here, so I can talk kind of loud. Um, pretty standard study room. My room is actually right next door, so um, I'm easily able to record in here, but it's pretty quiet if you're gonna wanna get some homework done. This is my room over here. I'm in A2120, so if you got my room in Dundee, this is my room. <laughs> That'd be awesome if any of you guys got it. But yeah, pretty standard. And then really quickly, this is what the lounge looks like. It's super big and you know, lots of natural light.